Meg Ryan delivers scathing comments to Meghan Markle at the Sarajevo Film Festival? I'm truly honored to receive this award tonight, Ryan began, but I have to take a moment to address something that's been weighing heavily on my mind. The utter disgrace that is Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. The audience immediately fell silent, taken aback by Ryan's sudden change in tone. She continued, her voice dripping with contempt. Meghan Markle is a disgrace to Hollywood and to their British royal family. She is nothing more than a vapid, attention-seeking narcissist who has made a mockery of both the entertainment industry and the monarchy. Oh my goodness. Ryan went on to criticize Megan's acting career, calling her performance wooden and devoid of any real talent. She also attacked Megan's transition into the royal family, accusing her of using her marriage to Prince Harry as a means to further her own fame and agenda. Meghan Markle is the laughing stock of Hollywood, Ryan declared. No one takes her seriously as an actress, and her attempts to position herself as some kind of global humanitarian and fashion icon are utterly laughable. The usually poised and gracious Ryan showed no signs of holding back her disdain for Meghan Markle, becoming increasingly palpable with every word. She's a fame-hungry, social-climbing wannabe who has managed to dupe the entire world into believing that she's this great, inspirational woman, Ryan spat. But the truth is, she's nothing more than a two-bit actress who married into royalty in a desperate attempt to achieve the kind of fame and adulation that has eluded her for her entire career. The audience sat in stunned silence, unsure of how to react to Ryan's scathing tirade. Some attendees even appeared visibly visibly uncomfortable, shifting in their seats as the actress continued her onslaught. Meghan Markle is a disgrace, and I will not remain silent while she continues to make a mockery of the entertainment industry and the British royal family. She is a laughingstock, a punchline, and she deserves to be treated as such. The speech quickly went viral with social media users around the world weighing in on Ryan's controversial comments. Some praised the actress for speaking the truth and calling out Meghan's behavior, while there's condemned her for the vicious and personal nature of the attack. Representatives from Meghan Markle declined to comment on the incident, but sources close to the Duchess suggested that she was deeply hurt and saddened by Ryan's words. Meghan is no stranger to criticism, but this felt particularly vicious and personal, the source said. She's been trying to rise above the negativity and focus on her humanitarian work, but attacks like this from fellow actress really sting. The incident has sparked a wider conversation about the treatment of public figures, particularly women in the entertainment industry and beyond. Many have criticized the toxic culture that often leads to such personal and vicious attacks, while others have defended Ryan's right to express their opinion. Regardless of one's status stance on the matter, it's clear that Meg's speech has left a lasting impact and the tension between the two actresses ultimately uh, has not resolved anytime soon. She's now stood by the comments, even doubling down her criticism of Meghan Markle in a subsequent interview. I said what I said and I meant every word of it, Ryan declared. Meghan Markle Markle is a disgrace, and I won't apologize for calling out her BS. She's a shameless self-promoter who has managed to con the entire world into believing she's this great inspirational woman when in reality, she's nothing more than a vapid attention-seeking narcissist. She went on to criticize her humanitarian work, saying it's a PR stunt to further her own agenda. Megan is not interested in actually helping people. She's interested in the attention and accolades that come with it. She's a fraud, and I'm not afraid to say it. She addressed the backlash as well, dismissing it as a desperate attempt of Meghan's defenders to silence the truth. I'm not going to back down just because people are upset that I called out their precious Meghan Markle. The truth hurts, and sometimes the truth needs to be spoken, even if it's not popular. As the fallout from Ryan's speech continues, it remains to be seen how this situation will ultimately play out. But one thing is clear. Meg Ryan has made it abundantly clear that she has no love lost for Meghan Markle, and she's not afraid to let the world know it. My goodness, that can't be real. All right, it's not. The Popcorn Palace. I am Andy Signer. While I hope you enjoyed that Meghan Markle fan fiction, it's not real. And oh my God, I know it was a big intro. I wanted to read it all to see how long did it take before you realized this isn't real, Andy. How many of you fell for that? How many of you really read the whole thing and thought that was real? Because guys, it would be international news 
everywhere that Meg Ryan went to the Sarajevo Film Festival to accept an award and instead chose to do her speech to randomly selectively call out Meghan Markle? Meg Ryan's not even British. What, why on earth would she waste the energy or time or put that kind of target on her back? Plus, if you just Googled it, so she gave a lovely speech that had nothing to do with Meghan Markle. You can literally take five seconds to research this stuff when in doubt. Heck, I would suggest just Google news search Meg Ryan, Meghan Markle. Uh, that's what I did. I'm like, this isn't real. And of course there's no hits. The only hits are some AI generated YouTube videos that some of you have fallen for. I'm reading these comments and well done. She spoke the truth. Way to go, Meg. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to single out you guys for saying you're dumb, but guys, you gotta be better. You can't just let your obsession and hatred of Meghan Markle make you think that anything negative about Meghan Markle is real. This isn't real. And it's important we talk about this because honestly, I think this is planted by Meghan Markle's team. I think she does this so she can prove we're all full of crap. And when you just believe everything, well, then it negates everything that we are doing, the hard work, the research we put in, the attempt to actually make it clear. This is speculation. This is what we're talking about. This is real. This is like If we don't be honest about these stories and we put it out there like it's real and applaud her, well, that's really problematic. Do you guys get where I'm coming from? She's trending. Meg Ryan is trending, at least in my feeds, because I have royal news. And it's like so many of you have accepted it. And I'm, I don't mean to put you out but uh, you go girl megan i didn't like you M meg ryan yeah f yeah everybody is so uh good she finally uh as much as i enjoyed it yes thank god i i, I told her to but that exactly you, you got to go do some homework. You got to do some homework. And beware of these. Beware of these, these videos. And the British royal family alike. Someone who is nothing more than a disgrace to both entertainment industry and monarchy. That's an AI voice, okay? You got to be careful. AI is actually terrifying. They're now creating AI to do Zoom calls. So everybody out there, if, I, and I know we have a lot of audience who's easily susceptible to sort of what they read online, you have to be extra careful. You have to have passwords with your own family that only you and your family know so you can actually verify, is this you? Can you give me the password, honey? 100 million percent, you got to start being careful because now they can literally AI someone's face and make it look like you. They can literally have your kid. They could take me. I've had, there's plenty of YouTube videos they could steal from my voice and they could call you with my face and say, hi, it's Andy. Can you send me money? I'm never going to call you and ask you to send me money. I'm never going to go on any app or anywhere, nor is Johnny Depp for that matter. I have people who message me. I sent my life savings to a Johnny Depp account. No one is ever going to mail you like that on a telegram, on a, on a uh, Instagram, on a anything. Be safe out there, guys. There are so many people tricking you and this AI generated videos, you'll hear it by the In voice. In general. Ryan proceeded to criticize Megan's acting career, describing her performances as lacking in genuine talent the and stiffness. Posting Furthermore, out there with Ryan censured Megan for leveraging her marriage to Prince what's Harry being said, solely the for the purpose of advancing her own ambition and, and notoriety goes, da -da 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 within the royal family. Ryan declared, "And you guys buy it. Look at that! Almost thirty thousand views, and the comments are all positive. Oh my God! I didn't love her before, but now I really do. Go Meg!" I, look, I'm sorry to, to try to seem to aim at you or call some of you dumb, but this is so dangerous and it's really bad and it makes us look so dumb for people who are out there attempting to really expose what Harry and Meghan are doing, which is shameful, and they really do awful stuff. When this kind of stuff gets out there, it absolutely muddies the water and it gives Meghan and Harry ammunition to say, see, look what they do. They put out false stories that Meg Ryan hates me and she didn't. And we look like we have egg all over our face and we're dumb. We gotta be better. We gotta look at our sources. So we try to do here, I try to do on my channels. And when I'm not sure, I tell you. You gotta watch the whole video. Don't ever just click a thing or look at the headline and say, that must be real. Click it, do your homework, watch the content, click around and find some else. Ask somebody else, Did you, is this, this isn't real, right? Ask around your own communities. Team together and, and help each other and say, no, that's not real. Here's her actual speech. She didn't actually say anything about Meghan Markle. I looked, there's no news outlet that would do it. You don't think, as as fun as this was to read, this fan fiction, as fun as it was to read, you really think something this massive wouldn't be on video and then wouldn't be international news that America's sweetheart Meg Ryan suddenly out of nowhere decided to do a five minute diatribe on Meghan Markle. This would be massive news. We I would have it on Popcorn Planet and Pal. We would be 
clip playing the clips like crazy. So just use a little common sense. Please be careful out there. Watch out. This kind of stuff is really dangerous. And I do think it's Meghan Markle's team trying to make us look dumb. So if you see it out there, correct it. If you see something else out there that you know this can't be real, do some homework and help correct it. And then ask the people who are spreading it to remove it. Because if they're sharing it as if it's news, that's not helping anybody. That's only helping Meghan Markle. So do you want to do that? Is that what you're trying to do? Be more careful out there. A lot of you guys are amazing. You're doing amazing jobs getting to the truth along with us, calling out the truth, uh, and uh, attempting to, to ask the questions when we're not sure. Uh, I appreciate all you guys so much, and that's what we try to do here. But I wanted to, one, it was a little entertaining. I get it. It's entertaining if you share it as that. This Meghan Markle fan fiction is quite entertaining. I know it's believable because a lot of you know the quotes that the author put in there are, are valid, but they weren't attributed to Meg, to Meg Ryan. They weren't. And so we have to be careful. And just because we believe what's being said in it doesn't mean that the, the article itself and the actual heart of it is accurate. Please, do you, do you hear what I'm saying? Do you agree? Let's get this word out there so more people can be aware and not be scammed like this. Make sure if you don't want to be scammed, you want real royalty and news uh, told honestly, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for alerts, smash that like button. Unlike, hey, look, there are Sussex Squad members over out there. Andy, you put out misinformation. Nonsense. I make it clear every single time this isn't proven, this is a rumor, this is coming from a source, I tell you that. When it's not, I tell you that as well. When I have guests on, when I don't disagree with them, when I don't agree with them, I tell it to them. I say, I don't agree with this, but there's a theory. What do you guys think? We have to have discussions sometimes. We talk about things. Don't just believe everything you hear. Not even on the sources. Sometimes the, the gossip we're sharing here that we're saying is unclear doesn't mean it's always true. We got to look at everything carefully. We got to make sure we're on top of it. Otherwise, Harry and Meghan will win. They will prove. See, look at them. They're sharing this crap about Meg Ryan. See, they, sh they share fake news. They don't have the truth. They just bully us and harass us with nonsense. Is that what this is going to become? No, not on my watch. So be careful out there. Keep on top of it. Thank you guys so much for being here, supporting us. We got so much more coming for you. You're not going to miss it.